For myself personally, you know, there's also been a, a lot of um, amazing learning points and, and I also think back to my uh, first winter and I think it, it helps me remain humble about the challenges that students might understand and, and go through as they first transition in. And, and I'd, I'd grown up in, in winter and, and I'm born and raised here in Wisconsin and you know, certainly had been out skiing and, and all those different things. And so for, for my first you know, time heading out in the field, I was like, well, I, I know what I'm doing. And I, I realized that, that the thing is, you know, the equipment really matters. And I walked out into the field on my first shift and I did not have the right pair of boots. And about three days in, my boots were falling apart, my feet were soaking wet, and I was miserable. And, and I also had though that, I had that pride that, they, that you sometimes get of like, I can make it through this. You know, I'm supposed to be this tough wilderness guide. I, I can't show weakness. And it actually took one of the co-staff who, who was, you know, leading the group and helping to train me in who looked down and noticed and saw that I was struggling and said, hey, we got boots. <laughs> Let me go get you a pair of boots. Um, and, and it completely turned around my whole experience, but it, it took that awareness from someone else of looking and seeing that even though I was putting on this tough exterior, I wasn't actually okay. And that's a piece that I've always kind of kept with me then of like helping to transform my understanding of how do I actually work with students? Well, I, I have to take on that role. I have to understand that they're not always going to have the words to describe what's going on, whether that's because of pride or fear, or maybe it's just a lack of awareness. And, and so that's a piece that I always take on as my role, not only for working with students, but also for working with the rest of the staff and helping us all be that safety blanket for our students is understanding like, okay, what are we looking out for? The person who's gone quiet, who typically talks, is that's a sign, and how do we actually use that as a sign to step into the relationship instead of stepping away? Um, and so that's a piece I, I always remember that, that first shift for myself and having the wrong pair of boots and how you know it took one of my other staff members stepping over and recognizing I was struggling to make that change and, and I try and always then be conscious of being that person both you know here, here at work and working with students but also in my personal life as well.